the ultimate adventure, and that's the willingness to welcome everything about life that's terrible and painful and malevolent, to welcome that with open arms, to accept that. And that's predicated on a deeper idea even, which is that sacrifice is the basis of community, which is exactly right. Because you have to give up something to be in relationship to the mm. future and to other people. Right. Right. So the biblical corpus is an examination of, what would you say, levels of sacrifice moving downward to the ultimate possible level of sacrifice. So in the Abrahamic story, Abraham is requested by God to offer up his son. Right now, he, does, he gets him back. The threat isn't carried through. And what does that mean? It means, first of all, that everything in your life, no matter what it is, including your relationships, should be made subservient to the highest possible aim. It also means that a good father sacrifices his children to what's highest. That's the offering of your child to the world, the faithful offering of your child to the world. That's what Mary does. It's a famous statue of Mary in St. Peter's in Rome. Michelangelo made it when he was like 23, some ridiculous early age brilliant statue. Mary is holding the body of her son, broken, in her arms, looking serene. He's an adult, off the cross. It's like the female crucifixion, and the idea is that the good mother, the proper father, offers their children to be broken by the world in the pursuit of what's highest. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was 23 when he made that? That is insane. <laughs> God, how... What were you doing when you were 23? Telling shitty jokes. <laughs> Single block of marble. Yeah, and so, so that see, that, that's, that's, that's an indication of sacred femininity because, see, the psychoanalyst said in the early part of the 20th century that the good mother necessarily fails. And so what does that mean? Well, every woman who brings a child into the world knows that the child is going to be broken by death and malevolence. 